Hello, it's Patience and I am about to go on spring break, yay! But before I wanted to go, I wanted to just clean my space a little bit. So we'll be cleaning my dorm room and packing for spring break. And it's really nice, what I aim for this is to be like really like fresh and like rejuvenating, like a spring cleaning kind of deal. We're gonna open the windows maybe a little bit, we're gonna make the bed. Well, it's already kind of made, but we're gonna smooth out the bed and we're gonna sweep the floor. It's gonna be like a nice, nice clean. So yay, are you ready to clean with me? So I always like to start with the bed, so we're just going to smooth it out a little bit here. Get all the pillows in place so I have something nice to come back to after break. I guess my second step would be to begin gathering trash. So just some stuff here. My weekly planners that I've already used. This one was this week, so we keep it so I can use this template for next week when I get back. This one was an old one, so let me see if it's nothing useful, so we pull it up. Put it in the pile. It's a video list. Oh, it's my um, schedule from last month of what I was planning to release. I have a lot of videos that I need to edit, including this one, actually. I've already filmed and edited most of these videos, so we're gonna go ahead and put that down too. Some accounting formulas, stats formulas, better save these, but maybe not out of the open, so. This paper's oddly thick. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead Stash that with my art supplies. Here is a letter that I got from a friend, so I'll be bringing that with me this week so I can reply to it and send something from home. Um, this is a nice note from a friend, and this is a Valentine from a friend. So I'm gonna take both of these. Mm. When it comes to like paper stuff that people give me, it's always so hard for me to like just throw it out. You know, like if it's like a birthday card or something, or something meaningful. So what I do is I have this thing I call my sentimental folder. <laughs> so if I have a paper thing that means a lot to me and that I know that I'd like to have in the future, I don't have to throw it out. I can't just like get rid of it. So I can just stick it right in the sentimental folder. So nice and it's like this. And the letter when I'm done replying to it will go in here as well. The Valentine. But I also have stuff here like a speed dating ticket. Or stuff that just like reminds me of like, you know, good times. <laughs> I try to, I think it's very important to remind yourself that the world is full of good things and that there is a lot to be grateful for, you know? And like remind you of times when you were happy. So like my sentimental folder is part of that. I keep a special folder on Pinterest called Nice Things. That's like all these nice things, like poems about the world, stuff that makes you feel like optimistic and happy. This coloring book, I'll stack that on top of my sketchbook here. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that's important contributes to a more positive worldview. So this is our starter trash pile. <sighs> Give a sweep. I'm not sure if you can see it right across from here. We have my backpack, which I'll be taking with me. And we have my train bag, which is from when I went on the train about a week ago. So I need to return this to the library before I go. Or maybe not, I don't know. This is a bookmark. Just like that, my desk is organized, with the exception of the trash. There you We're go. going to turn our attention to the shoe bin and then to the floor. If you guys remember the train tip I was telling you about, this was my <laughs> luggage for that and I still have it unpacked and it has been like a week. So, you know, we should probably get on that. We're going to take the shoes, clean that up a little bit. There we go, that looks a little bit better. So now our attention to the suitcase. There. This is the dress I wore to my aunt's wedding. It's really fun, it's um, it's strapless and it's like so lacy and like, oh, I don't know, it's really fun. <laughs> I really like it. So how you hang it up is actually kind of cool. They have these two little straps. So you just weave those onto the white hangers. <laughs> It's 
today has been kind of a fun day. I had my last class accounting. I almost slept through um, Convo, which is like the mandatory public speaker that we have like twice a week, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, I woke up just in time and I was like, oh no, I hadn't cleaned or anything. And you have to do like a little bit of cleaning at least before Convo. So I texted my friend. I was like, oh my gosh, can you save me a seat? And she was like, sure. And then yeah, she, she saved me a seat. I like hurriedly cleaned, like I made my bed like kind of sloppily. That's why we had to redo it earlier. Um, and then I like bolted down, like I, I ran and I made it. Yeah, so that was good, you know? I was on time, kind of, sort of, yeah. I was not late. Anyway, so then I did some work, accounting. I had an eight week class that's finished now, which is weird to say, but it is. I have another eight weeker starting when I get back, which is theology of the Bible, the New Testament specifically. To finish the eight weeker though, we had a bunch of final exams, which were really, really long and took a really long time. To motivate, but I have a really long project. What I like to do, and this might not work for some other people, but for some reason it works for me. Mm. I like to hold on. Let's see. I'll tell you when I get back. When I have a really big project, I will work for 20 or 25 minutes. Depending on how motivated I feel that day. And you can usually tell, because it's like what you're leaning towards. Like some days you'll be like, yeah, 25 minutes. Other days you'll be like, no. <laughs> the most I can take right now is 20. So I will work for 20 or 25 minutes. And then I allow myself to have a little five minute Netflix break. And I time that break. I don't just be like, oh no, no. When the clock ticks, when it says like, no, time is up. You have to get off. And that's actually nice, because it motivates you. Like if you're in the middle of a scene or it's a cliffhanger, you're like, I want to get all this work done and like focus really hard so I can have the next five minutes of Netflix time. It can't be YouTube for some reason. My brain just doesn't reward that. I found it has to be Netflix, but for some reason it really works. Oh, look at that. We have so much space here now. Here, take a look. Oh, see? Pretty nice. It's all clean. Now we have my favorite part of cleaning and perhaps the most rewarding spring cleaning isk is the sweeping. So instead of a vacuum cleaner, I tend to prefer having one of these. So it's just a nice big broom and also a little broom to pick up whatever's left. Look at that, it's sunset over there. If you turn really quickly, you can kind of see it, kind of. The sunsets here are always so pretty, like a painting. I think it's because we're all the way up in the mountains. So there's very little interference. You can also see stars, which is weird because <laughs> there are a lot of lights from the college. All right, so let's get to sleeping here. Ooh, you know what would make this better? We should turn on my spring playlist. I made a song, a playlist, I did not make a song, I made a playlist of songs that feel like kind of springy, like healing and rejuvenating and like flowers and rain and like early morning walks and stuff like that. So, let me put that on here. I don't know if you can hear any of it because it might get copyrighted, but it'll definitely like set the tone and I think that'll be really fun. All right, now we're ready. <laughs> So I gotta meet a friend for dinner now. Ow, oh my word, that hurt. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna sweep up what we did here, throw that out, and then I'll see you guys in like an hour after dinner. <laughs>
going to take my little jug to get filled so I can have fresh water for the rest of the night. Because cleaning is not just physical. you got to take care of yourself mentally. which is packing, woohoo, for spring break. My spring break is not too exciting this year, <laughs> not too exciting. I'm just going home and I might go to DC, which will be fun. If we do, you'll probably get a video about it, but if we don't, it'll just be really chill and relaxing. I'll do some work, hang out with my family, and it'll just be, it'll be nice, you know? I think I could probably use that for my spring break, you know, because it's been like rush, 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 rush. Because I'm taking 17 credits plus a lot of stuff this semester, and I have a lot of clubs and a lot of other responsibilities. And for the next two semesters, it's going to be 18 credits. So, and I, I'm still not sure what I'm doing about the summer, which is crazy. I've applied to so many, so many internships, guys. Like, you would not believe. Like, at, at least 25. Like, at least, if not significantly more than that. I don't know. And there's nothing still, like, certain about my summer this year yet, which is, like, oh, a little crazy. So, I don't know. It'll be nice to have some time to be like, hey, it's spring. Like, listen to some springy music, like a spring playlist, maybe take like a walk to the park, or two, or three, <laughs> or multiple. Hang out with some of my friends back home. And just like a whole big deep breath, you know? I just want spring break to be like, <sighs> you know? Just, <sighs> just get it out of my system. You know, just to rejuvenate and like, stop worrying, you know? Like, ugh, ugh, just a big deep breath. Cleansing. That's what I want my spring break to be. Mm. I've been so busy lately and it's weird. I've been like, it almost feels like I'm burnt out from like nothing, if that makes sense. Like I'm not creatively extending myself, but I'm not like not either, you know, I'm just kind of like plodding along and that kind of, I don't know, I don't know. It's like, it's a weird feeling. It feels like burnout, but like you're like burnt out from what? Like <laughs> what exactly are we doing here? I don't know. <sighs> huh. It'll be nice to have a break to just like get it all out get it all together. Going to dinner. I will see you guys soon. All right, I am back from dinner. So just gonna pack up a little bit here before everyone comes. And then, yeah, it'll be driving home time for spring break. Great, right, let's get the bag. I think we'll just start with this basic bag just for clothes and stuff. See what we can get in here. Probably not the best way to carry around your jewelry, but I always carry a big bag. I just stick all the jewelry that I typically wear in the big old bag. That way it's nice, so I don't have to worry too much. You just pull out the bag and bam, there it is. So I'm gonna pack my digital art supplies, like my little stylus, and my glove is in here. Here is my drawing pad. It's kind of cool. It hooks up to your computer and I can just draw on the surface and it appears on my computer screen, which is actually pretty fun. I'm thinking about, since I have a lot of poetry that I've written, I'm thinking about like illustrating a couple poems. Like, I don't know if it'll turn out any well, but like it might be kind of fun, you know? It might be kind of fun. Draw like a little doodle. They're all separated by um, season because the things I write tend to very much like fit into one of the seasons. So like summer is all of my like adrenaline poems, my like, yeah, let's go get it kind of poems, like good times kind of poems. Spring is like all of my like healing poems, like my kind of like, wow, like kind of poems. The winter is more like, like the tentative, like 
reaching towards something kind of poems. The falls are like the wistful, like nostalgic kind of deal. So I don't know. I like to separate it. <laughs> My working title is Tadpoles and Travel Suits, and I have a little cover that I made for it, which is actually kind of cute. So I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever get published. Maybe this summer. Maybe this summer. <laughs> My summer scent is Waikiki Beach Coconut. It's so much fun. My spring scent is Honey Wildflower, and I really like the book. It's kind of fun. This one, I actually, fun fact, I wore this a lot at my old college. So spraying it kind of reminds me of like that whole like starting college kind of scared kind of vibe. I'm excited to bring back some of my summer stuff, which is exciting. I feel like I'm done packing, which is usually a sign that I'm missing something. <laughs> Big shoe bin, so it will carry all my shoes, which is perfect because that cleans up more space in here too. I've got my journal and my colored pencils. Annika's note, right here, and my sketchbook. I'm so excited for spring break. It's gonna be a long drive back, but it'll be nice. And I don't know. I think they're over there soon. since I probably won't be packing the computer until like the very last second, <laughs> just so I can like work on assignments until then. We are all cleaned and all packed. My room is clean and we have everything packed here. Look, with my backpack, we have all of these, shoe bin, all of this good stuff. And we are finally ready to leave. Thank you so much for like this little spring hangout and packing with me. I will see you after or maybe during spring break. And I hope you have a really fun time. Bye.